You want to get a load of what real, crazy, rich Asians are like? Check out this. What's up, guys? It's your boy NJ here. Welcome back to the show, to the NJ show, where all your reaction videos are right here, baby, right now. Yes, right under one roof. So, strap yourself in. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a bumpy ride. So, let's board this rock and roll train and head down little old memory lane. But before we go, you know what I'm going to say. Like the video, subscribe. Share the fuck out of this. Let's blow it. We are on our way to 100k and we want you to be a part of this journey. It is going off. So come on board. It's a whole lot of fun. If you want the best, you're going to get the best. Some of the craziest reactions, some of the craziest videos on the internet are appearing before your eyes right here, right now on the NJ Show. So if you want to be a Patreon member, head on over to the Patreon. Links are um, in the descriptions below. If you want customized, personalized, and specialized videos, uh, reaction videos, that place is the place to be. It is going off. It's a fucking party. I'm enjoying every minute of it. You guys are too, so go hit it up. It's like three, four bucks a month. It's cheap as chips. You know what to do by now, so keep doing it. I love it, man. I fucking love it. Right, here we are then. This is a first time reaction. This has never been seen before. I've never seen it. I have no idea what I'm about to let loose on here. Um, so I guess we should just get straight into it. That makes sense, huh? So you guys have been shouting this out uh, a ton. I see it all the time in the comments. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Um, and the title is, These are the real crazy rich Asians. Harper's Bazaar. Um... It basically says, crazy rich Asians author Kevin Guan travels to Paris to meet the Asian style icons who are shaking up the stand world of culture. Fuck me, this could get in very, very interesting indeed. Right, you ready? Oh yes, you are ready? I'm ready, so let's do it then. You know what I'm going to say. Here are the real crazy rich Asians, Harper's Bazaar style. Right. Viewer discretion, then, is advised to sit back and let's enjoy this ride. Let the countdown commence on 3, 2, 1. Let's roll. There's always existed in Asia these hidden invisible fortunes and people who spend millions of dollars a year on the finest things in life, but do it totally under the radar. How much of my book is based in reality? Um, about 150%. There he is. <laughs> the man. Does anyone know who Kevin Guan is? Am I even pronouncing his name right? Hopefully. But who the hell is he? Should I know this dude? I've never seen him in my life. No idea who he d is, what he does. Um, let me know. If you know, you know what to do. Drop the knowledge below. Hit it up. Tell me everything, please. Couture week in Paris is the creme de la creme. We're talking about dresses that start in the tens of thousands and go up to the millions. And only about 2,000 women in the world can afford to dress this way. I was lucky enough to spend Couture week in Paris with some truly stylish insiders. Heart Evangelista. She's really the darling of the Philippines. She's one of the most acclaimed actresses. She's also a really gifted artist. She's had amazing museum shows in the Philippines of her paintings. What I love, I tell you straight off the bat, what I love, I, about fucking, I don't know, five, ten minutes ago, I had no idea who this woman is. And apparently she's one of the richest women in the Philippines. You think? <laughs> the fuck? Never knew she existed until now, until she's on the NJ show. You think, how is this possible? It just goes to show what is out there and what you do not know. It's mind-blowing. Just when you think you know it all, <laughs> not a chance. There is always someone else out there that you think, you know, there is someone famous as fuck somewhere in the world. You have no idea that person exists. That, to me, just blows my fucking mind. Incredible. Hi! 
so here we are. And then there's the Yo sisters, Michelle and Rachel, who are so much wiser than their years. They grew up in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, but for the last, I think, seven or eight years, have been living in England. Thank you for organizing tours so I could come with you guys. No, I really, we're really so excited. That. No, yeah, it's such a pleasure. Yeah, it was like you. a last minute surprise. Though. It was like, cool, <laughs> I get to come with you guys. I guess that's part of so, Fashion Week. Yeah, everything, everything happens at the last minute. Exactly. Yeah. Fei Ping Chang is this dynamo. She, I think, was raised partially in Sydney and in Singapore. She now makes Hong Kong her home, where she's become one of the most important fashion influencers in Asia. It's always nice coming back to Fashion Week and you join your fashion family and see everybody. Uh, it's always a nice little reunion. I don't think Americans, for the most part, really understand how this level of Asian women shop. When I see something come down the runway, I know in my gut and in my heart <laughs> that it's meant to be. I think that connection makes everything more special. Yeah. It's everything's really about this private experience. Couture itself was made to make the client feel special. Exactly. It's made for you. Going to these very exclusive fashion shows and then going for your private fittings. But then also there are jewelry showings and jewelry parties where they meet jewelers and, and select stones and Insane. really be in that world of helping to create what they buy. So the spending is on a whole other level. I really want to see the behind the scenes. Yeah. And the seamstresses are the real heroes. Yeah, that's more. true. It's so nice to see where all the materials and all the embroidery comes from before it gets to the runway. Mm -hmm. Like, Lesage, I'm in, I'm in love with. Like, the embroidery is just so beautiful. And, like, all the, the shoes for Chanel is, like, made in Massaro. Couture is really special because it celebrates the highest level of craftsmanship and creativity. Mm -hmm. so it's actually like buying art. Like, yeah, it's literally. really art. And Which it's like, is wearable art. Exactly. And like, if you can put it on yourself, why mm -hmm. not? There are only about 15 haute couture designers in the world because the standards are so high. Each one of them is personally appointed by the Chambre Syndicale of haute couture. These dresses go from the runway to a one-of-a-kind custom-fit piece so when these women are buying a gown, they know they are literally buying a piece of history. Fuck. You have an appointment, and then you just get to try on all these beautiful clothes and decide which piece you want. Even just going to fittings or like when you're attending shows and they're like there putting dresses on you, it's just so fun. On average, we do sort of three fittings because I think my body changes during that time anyways. What other shows are you looking forward to? Oh, definitely Jean Battista Bali tonight. Yeah. He's my favorite, as you know. So he did your wedding dress, yes, right? He did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What was the process like? I came to Paris a year before my wedding. At first, I was only going to do one dress, and then in the end, you know, evolved into two the very money different dresses, from? which was great because the main dress you know, was a big tool creation, uh, and the second one is entirely made out of silk. So, uh, and it had these handcrafted petals that he pinned like each petal on. So did he supervise the fittings? Yeah, no. he was there. So he's very hands-on. Very hands-on, yeah. He's really an, an artist that really cares about his craft. It's such a beautiful, right. magical yeah. experience. Even if you don't put it on yourself, like no, even just archive it, it, it right? it's just perfect. Mm -hmm. I mean, it tells a story of this time when I went to Paris, I got this dress mm -hmm. for me when you have your kids. It's something mm -hmm. you share yeah. and pass on. I'm a collector. I, I love collecting bags, Birkins specifically, and Kelly's. It's a really good investment. You do the most beautiful customizing on Birkins, so you paint on them, don't you? Well, I mean, I when do. did that start? I had a lizard skin Birkin, and it was orange, and I was eating French fries at Chili's. Oh gosh. <laughs> and they had the cheese. Yeah, yeah, so I did not noticed that it was already under my bag when I brought it mm. home. I tried to clean it, I asked around, and it was just impossible to fix. So I said, okay, why don't I paint on it? And I loved it. Do you get a sense that you are part of this new generation of sort of fashion influencers? I don't you know if we shows? are influencers, and that's the I thing. Think yeah. I think we are. We just enjoy the shows. Because, yeah. I mean, we, we started with our mom originally when we were like 10. My love for fashion really came from my grandmother. She only ever wore Escada and Chanel. <laughs> I think anyone that enjoys the beauty in life loves fashion to a certain extent. You know, there's no other way to put it. They lived these lives of imperial splendor.
Insane. What the hell? Wow. Alright then, guys, there you have it. That was Harper's Bazaar. These are the real crazy rich Asians. What do you think of that then? I mean, crikey. What do I think of that? I mean, I got one, only one problem with it. I mean, when you're that rich, right? I can imagine you don't want to die. You do not want to die. You just want to keep living and living. <sighs> but at some point, they are. They are going to have to go. And you think, bloody hell, all that for nothing. You think, insane. But I guess where you're here, you got to have the best time you can possibly have. And they certainly are. I mean, I was expecting a bit more. Um, I guess, but that was obviously the the fashion side. Um, I'd like to see, you know, if you're spending, what, millions on a dress? I think, fucking Christ. <laughs> Surely the person that's designed the dress must be laughing inside. He must be. He must go to bed just fucking grinning his ass off, thinking, oh, my God, I can't believe people pay me, pay me this obscene amount of money just to wear the shit that I designed. It must be a fucking trip. I swear to God. I swear we're in a fucking simulation. The Matrix, this can't be real life. It must be some sort of computer game. You think, bloody hell. But that's the way it is, and that is what it is. So, if you want more crazy, rich-ass Asians on the show, you know what to do. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment below that you've subscribed, comment below. Tell me, hey, you might be in fucking Germany. I don't know, you might be in Dubai, you might be in New York. Wherever you are in the world... Um, send me a video of some of the craziest uh, rich people. And let's do that. Like we've done, we've done music, we've done scary videos, we've done movie trailers. Let's just throw it up. Let's just throw this in the mix. Fuck it. If you want it, you're gonna get it. Simple as that. So wherever you are in the world, um, send me a link in the comments below. Um, show me some of the insanely rich um, people there, and we will just react to whether it be their yachts, their cars, their mansions their lifestyle, whatever the fuck it is, we'll react to it right here, right now, on the NJ Show. So then, guys, let's wrap it up. Let's end it right here. You know what I'm about to say. Yes, you heard that right. It's your boy, NJ. You've been on that NJ Show, and yes, sir, you know what time it is. Boom! It's time to go. Later.